All right, you guys, today I'm going to put some of my projects into Adobe Firefly and see what other ideas I can generate from it and then reproduce them in software. So this could be another great approach to simulate ideas and generate mockups to see if it's worth it to put in the work and recreate it or not. And for this experiment, I'm going to go with this composition as a reference. If you want to check out how I made this, I'm also going to leave a link in the description. All I'm going to do is just screenshot it real quick. And now let's go to Adobe Firefly. I'm going to go and select the image and click on Generate. And here at the model, I'm going to switch it to a Firefly Image 3. I also tested the Image 4, but it's not giving the right results. So I'm going to go with Firefly Image 3. And I'm going to go with a Landscape Content Type Photo. For the reference, I'm going to go and upload the screenshot that I took. Click on Open. And let's go and increase the strength all the way to 100. And for the visual intensity, I'm going to go with the default. And for the prompt, I'm going to type in, for example, text made of colorful stripes, isolated on black. Let's generate. By the way, turn off the fast mode. So the first option, it created some neon signs out of it. So this is a pretty good idea. Maybe I could create something on it. So I'm going to customize it a little bit. Text made of neon lights. It seems like it pushed it into a totally different direction because it recreated the whole thing. So I'm thinking to go maybe to the star reference and upload the same image. And yeah, let's test it out that way. I'm going to go with 50 generate. And there you go. Now we got neon signs in the same colors as the reference image. I'm going to try it out one more thing. I'm going to go with text made of glowing colors. It's not that bad, but I'm going to do a couple of customizations. So here I'm going to select, for example, this guy right here. Strength, I'm going to go with 50. Also, I'm going to go to the effects and just going to select some prompts. And I'm also going to go with the vapor wave. Scroll down, light, studio. Let's try this out. So it seems like it made a totally different stuff. I don't really like it. I'm going to delete these prompts and also the style reference. And I'm going to switch it back to the original image. I'm also going to decrease the strength to zero and let me try out another prompt. I'm going to go with text made of 3D tubes and let's see. All right, so after a couple of attempts, so now you can see the simulation of it, like how eventually it's going to look, you know, in 3D. I'm also thinking to add polished. I'm actually going to go with 3D plastic tube. So after a couple of attempts, we got some results going on. So this is even more 3D plasticky looking. I mean, it looks kind of trash, but there's also some like better directions. For example, this one and maybe decrease the visual intensity to low and test it out that way. And take a look at that. After a couple of attempts, we got some really badass results. So this looks really good, by the way, for an experiment. As you can see, it's simulated perfectly in 3D and it also changed up the colors quite a bit. And you know, you got like other ones which are not that bad. Here, as you can see, we got like a white spine going in all the letters, which is like another idea. Check this out. This is also pretty good. The color combination is amazing. Again, we got that white spine going on in the center. And I'm definitely going to try out to recreate these guys right here in 3D and also these ones right here because this new color combo is genius. And pretty much this is it for today. Thanks for watching.